So the verified best weather day of the week is taking the nation by storm. I mean, <laughs> it's just a, it is, it is a thing, Candace. So get on board the train. I'm sorry. Um, in Prince George County Emergency Operations Center at 60. And so the point being that Candace is making that it's a little bit wet out there. It's still kind of cloudy and still a few showers holding on. I think there might be a little bit more than this by about maybe nine or 10. But right now, just a quick handful of raindrops on the northern and western side of the city, stretching along 360 up to Tappahannock. This is not anywhere near as much as what we had into the overnight. So I'm leaving a little rain chance in 40% chance at seven. That's a sprinkle or a quick shower, 10% chance at 10. And I have it as our best day of the week because of the fact that we're going to get full sunshine um, and it'll be quite warm this afternoon. So once we get past the morning commute, you know, it's looking great later in the days, the highs in the mid seventies, and this is by far the warmest day of the week. Hourly forecast here shows you just a few sprinkles at seven o'clock in the morning. This is about about now could be a few showers in the tri cities and south as late as nine or 10. Then it's out of here and in sunshine and lots of it this afternoon. Uh, mainly clear tonight, uh, cooler, but still above average, dropping off into the mid to upper forties tonight and for tomorrow, sharply cooler. Now this is average. This is close to normal for this time of year, but tomorrow is going to be breezy. And in the absence of the soaking rain that we got last night and early this morning, the elevated fire risk or let's say the fire risk for tomorrow would be elevated to a pretty high level. But I think that half an inch of rain, at least temporarily, helped to suppress the concern of fires. We've been talking about the marathon looks great. Saturday, 64 sunny sunrise is at 651. The race starts at seven and the morning low is going to be in the upper 30s. And that is just right. I know that sounds cold, but marathon runners and participants appreciate that crisp cool feel to the weather because it allows them to run faster, not worry about taking energy to cool themselves off. So speaking of cooling off tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, temperatures at or below normal in the 50s, Wednesday and Thursday and Thursday's rain chance is not impressive. That's just a few hundredths of an inch of anything 50s, but the overnight low tomorrow night, Wednesday night, Thursday night and Friday night for a lot of folks will be in the 30s. And then we then we on Saturday, Sunday go up into the mid 60s, but feeling a lot more like November this week versus last week. That's after today's high, which will be way up above average. Ashley, back to you. All right.